These images have a zone where the signal to noise is very poor and we have another zone that the signal to noise is very good. We'd like to do some calculations based on these images and the calculations will involve doing a division. So to avoid dividing by very small numbers relative to the signal what we're going to do is create a summed image of these images in order to get a better signal to noise and then we're going to create a mask that will highlight where the signal is. So if we go to the color scale, select the false color and mark out using the color scale and dragging a box a set of intensities are entered into the lookup table dialog window of colors that we're going to generate is going to be one. We won't use histogram normalization and we'll just accept the, the spectrum colors for the color. So now we have a mask image that has got a value only where there's signal and no value where there is none. What we're going to do now is define this image. So this is the image mask. And if you go back to the color scale, you can see the, the mask buffer. So we can check that the mask buffer has been loaded. And having done that, we can go to another set of images such as these original ones if we overlay them and then we can go to the image quantification dialog window and press the zero outside image mask it creates a new VAMAS file and these now are set so that when I click inside here you can see the intensity is set to zero whereas when I click where the color was defined it's got intensities so we can do the same for another set of images that were acquired over a range of energies. Go to the image quantification, zero outside the mask, and now we have we have a set of images where we have signal and then we have a zero where there is no signal. So if I now take the if I now take the image that uh, the mask was defined on and copy that into this newly created set of images and here we have it says underscore zero not FC that's not false color I can copy that VAMAS block into here and it appears within the list and if I then just view the VAMAS block indices so I can see which is which. This is VB38. So let's now use the image calculator and instead of summing what we'll do is we'll take VB0 and divide it by VB38 and VB1 and divide by VB38 and maybe VB10 and divide by VB38. So we now get images that have been calculated from these masked images and they allow us to have a well-defined view of the signal since none of the masked area can produce any anomalous intensities by dividing by very small numbers.